Hey y'all, so Walter, so Walter Jones Show. I'm he and it is me in the car. Listen, you know, I've been doing these shows lately about men, men's spiritual health, mental health, physical health, and I do these shows in exposing me and my frailties, whether past or present, so that it can help you brothers out there and you ladies who are listening to me, it can help your husband, your fiance, your son, your uncle, your father, uh, that male figure in your life. So allow me to be the sacrificial lamb so that I can be an inspiration to the brothers and let me be the lab rat. Speaking of lab rat, I'm just leaving the clinic. Um, I am almost 60 years old now and I have come to a conclusion that things don't work on my body the way they used to. <laughs> they, they just don't. I get up and I ache. I get slouchy, fatigue, stomach issues, all kind of stuff because I'm older, and so which means I gotta move around a little bit more, all those things. So I was telling the, the women that are in my circle, my sisters and you know some of my friends, that I haven't been to the doctor for a regular checkup since 2008. And all of them, including my daughter, was like, oh, OMG. And right away they did the woman thing. Instead of saying, oh, that's been a while, but I'm so glad, Sir Walter Jones, that you're finally getting it done. How commendable is it of you to realize that your health is so important to mankind that you're doing. I'm so elated. See, that's all that came out after they rebuked me. <laughs> after they rebuked me. Made me feel bad. <laughs> but let me tell you, brothers, while I was in that thing and I, I was there for a couple hours, I knew I would be. Uh, Chicago got some good, some good, uh, some good doctors, some good medical clinics here, you all. So I'm, I'm, I was in good hands. Um, while I was there, I saw us, and when I saw us, we didn't look good at all. We looked bad. We looked aged and broken couldn't walk straight, couldn't walk up, couldn't sit up. Teeth is gone. Our skin is so harsh, coarse, eyes are glassy. Stomach is just out there. One man who looked like he's, well, he should be I think he was around my age. He looked like he was 20 years older. And, you know, brothers, yes, we are uh, lax, Sadezi. We are derelict to duty. Our health is so important to, our, to the women in our lives and, and our children. We got to step up our game on, on proper health, all right? We really got to really consider doing better because it didn't surprise me also when I told the, the women in my circle that I haven't been to the doctor in two, that since 2008. It didn't surprise me that they went hard after me. Not at all. That's just an instinct that they did care. But ladies, let me talk to you though. You women who are married, 
or you're taking care of your father, or you are the pastor's wife. Ladies, I'm sorry to say this, but I think many of you are responsible for the unhealthy status quo of your husbands. Because you complain about things that they're not doing, but you still feed them the stuff that they don't need. And I believe that many of these pastors who, who were, got so sick, many of them died from things that were preventable. Their wives stuffed their bellies with all that is unhealthy. They did. And it's still going on today. So ladies, you are playing a part in these brothers. First of all, uh, what's the old statement? The old saying, uh, an ounce of prevention is better than a pound of cure. You could have helped him prevent his sickness. Showing love to him means to make sure that his body is healthy, not just his spirit man. Because he's in church and he's, one man had a heart attack while preaching. I, I saw the video. But can I tell y'all something? I saw two men drop dead in the pulpit after preaching. I physically saw it, literally saw them drop dead. Because they didn't get, they didn't go to the doctor frequently, or, or I don't know, once, once a year, once every few years, they just didn't go like me. They, the wife stuffed them with all unhealthy soul food, and then they get to church, and then the, they say that they're basically married to the church, and they and they ripping and running, and then they get in the pulpit and they preach and hoop. They out of breath. Uh, it's tearing up their, their vocal cords and everything, and then they leave there and go to some some chicken shack with pork and everything, and stuff their faces. Or the wife has cooked some big meal at home. No exercise. They go straight to bed. Uh, they get up every day with the same routine. Wash, rinse, and repeat. I thank God for my brother Rodney, who's learning his lesson well, uh, who's taken, he's a pastor now, but he's a new pastor. He's only been a pastor since what, 2019 maybe? Um, 18 or 19, I can't keep up. And uh, he takes rests and vacations because I've seen the men who were my pastors all I've seen them die because they didn't take breaks. They overexerted themselves for the church. And then these free radicals got in their bodies and, uh, and, and then it made their bodies weak and susceptible to, you know, cancer cells and, and high blood and low blood and diabetical, all the stuff that black people are, are up against. And uh, a lot of the ladies are, are held part responsible for it. If you love him, you will be a little more stern because that's your body, not just his. I'm talking about men's health today. Women will talk about your health at another time. Hopefully I have a woman on the show because it's difficult to talk about women's health because women are very critical. When a man talks about a woman's health, she is extremely critical towards him. I did a show where I talked about the obesity of women and I lost friends. Literally, they went away and never returned. Because I mentioned, uh, y'all, they were saying I was being ins insensitive. But as soon as I talked about men and the things they're not doing, the women were like, amen, amen, brother, you're right, you're right. Ladies, you part of the problem. Mentally, you part of the problem. And spiritually, you part of the problem. So brothers, I'm doing these shows. The women are going to attack me, but I'm hoping you're listening to me 
so that you can get to the doctor. If you haven't been, go. You got medical insurance, especially if you're working on a job and you got some kind of insurance and you're not using it, that's ridiculous because let me tell you, I'm still searching for insurance. So everything that I'm doing medically coming out of my pocket, dentistry and, and physical, medical, is coming out of my pocket until I find the right um, right insurance that I, that first of all, that I can afford and that I'm comfortable with. I've been searching, trust me. Meanwhile, that is no excuse for not going to the doctor. That was mine in the past, not anymore. So if a woman loves you, she's going to make sure that you get your body, mind, body and soul, and spirit, everything. It's like when you insure your car, it's bumper to bumper. Your insurance covers bumper to bumper. Then your wife's supposed to cover you bumper to bumper from head to toe. If she's not doing that, she needs to she needs to do it. And so if you're watching this show and you're a brother, talk to your wife and find out what can she do to help you better so that you can stay alive or just a little bit longer. Because your lifespan is much shorter than hers. It's shorter than hers. You, being a black person is, is, is shorter than, than hers, more than a white man, uh, because we're susceptible to these things, these diseases. And the pandemic came and it uh, showed us who had pre existing conditions. There are people who are dead today that you don't even remember that they died. That's, that's how many people who died during the pandemic. So many died, it's like, oh yeah, he did. Oh yeah, she did. It got to the point that so many people died that it's like, I will see a picture on Facebook and I'm like, oh, hi, I wonder how he doing. And then, oh, that's right, he did. That thing, that virus came up in, in, my, in our system and wiped us out. Why? Because pre-existing. And some of that pre-existing from some of the people People didn't go to the doctor and, and take care of the pre-existing. But then it was too late when, when COVID came. It was too late. Y'all, I'm almost 60. I wake up every morning to two beautiful grandsons, Charles Jr. and uh, Loyal Amir. I look in their eyes and I say, God, I thank you for my posterity. Those kids are so beautiful to me. And then I look at myself and say, Walter, get your behind into a doctor's office. Because if you're expecting to walk into a venue and see those boys walk across a graduation stage, hopefully college, then you need to take care of yourself. Drink plenty of water, get exercise, get plenty of rest, and don't stress yourself out. That's all I've been hearing lately in my brain is that. So I'm, I'm, a, I'm sorry to say to myself that I waited too late to do those things, but now that I'm doing them, even my dental health care, my dental care was important to my physical care because when I went to, finally went to the dentist, I started hearing about all of the medical or physical problems that your body can incur because your teeth ain't ain't right. I mean, it was stuff that was scaring me. So I didn't care how much it cost me to fix my teeth. I mean, I spent almost 10 grand. No, I did, not almost, I just did because I'm going back to the Invisaligns because um, I'm, there were some other corrections that I that I want to take care of that I feel that I, I, I'm, I, I, I should have went a little further. I did okay. I repaired a lot of the, the, some of the things that I neglected, but I just gave them another $5,000 because there's more that I want done. Because it's not just about uh, physical care. It's, al it's also about looks and aesthetics and beauty because I am a content creator and I do understand, 
I'm in Chicago. These, these roads are bumpy, y'all. The people going to look in your mouth when you talk. They look in your mouth. That is something natural that people do. Some people are extremely nosy, yes. But others just naturally just look in your mouth. So the monies that I put on my... That, that the monies that you all may send me through the PayPal, through the Cash App, through the P.O. Box, you supported me through Patreon, all that money goes to something good. It goes into the, my health. It goes towards uh, my schooling. It goes towards those who are poor and the needy. I never spend money on stuff that I just don't need. Like new, new, the iPhone that I just bought, I had to buy it, not because I wanted it. I had to have it because my, my, my I, I would still have my old phone, but it, the battery is not good anymore and it just, it ain't working right anymore. So I knew I needed uh, this phone here because not only it will last me for a few more years, but it, it will help me in my production for the Sir Walter Jones show. So it was an investment. So every, every dime that you all send me goes to something that I need. Even if I buy a t-shirt, if I buy a sock or something, it's for the enhancement. I do not spend money on wild vacations, wine, women, and song. <laughs> I, don't, I just don't. I don't believe in that. As I'm trying to build my empire, I'm, I'm trying to impact other people. So I, I, I may spend a lot of money, but it's towards something that I know is going to en enhance other people's lives. This car that I'm driving right now, I'm going to drive it in the ground. I mean, stuff going to start falling off of it. But I get it frequently. Oil change. I, I put a lot of money in it to, to maintain it because I plan on holding on to it. I do not need another car. This car is many years old, 2014. I don't want another car. I don't need another new car. And the money that you all are giving me, I could buy another car right now, but that's dumb. It's ridiculous. So I'm gonna ride it in the ground, all right? So brothers, brothers, I talk about these things because I want you to survive like me. I want you to live like how I'm trying to live a little longer. People have come to me, the bunkers keep saying, you look younger than you were when we first started watching your show. If you go to my old shows on, on Spreaker, well, you can't, that's a that's podcast. On YouTube and Facebook, look at my old shows from 10 years back, I look old. I look like, I was in my 60s, back, 70s back then. No offense to those of you who in your 60s and 70s. But I, 10 years ago, I looked 10 years or 20 years older. But today, I look younger because I finally woke up and said, Walter, take better care of yourself. And I had people in, the, in my corner saying, we're going to look after you. We're not just going to cover you by protecting you from these crazy women and some of the gay men, but we're also going to cover you by, by uh, telling you, listen, you got to take care of that. Look after that. The bunkers will send things in the mail and say, this is for your health care, for, for your beauty care, or whatever, whatever. So brothers, get to the doctors. Get to the doctor yesterday. Do whatever you can. Don't say you can't afford it. You can. Uh, you could do it on your income. By, it's by income. Or you can, uh, um, uh, there's a plan, an HSA a plan, a medical plan that you can invest in. Uh, and it is a tax uh, haven for you. We'll, we'll talk more about that in the finance room on Patreon. Uh, you can go into your emergency fund and do it. You can start. You can start saving right now. And put a few some dollars away, uh, so that you can get, so that you can have a certain amount, so that you can go and get some blood work. Just get some blood work done. There's just so many things that you can do right now. There is no excuse. You go to your your county. I'm, I went to. I was at Cook County. 
go to your county hospital or clinic and um, you may have to wait for a few hours, but isn't your health worth you waiting for a few hours to get, get this stuff done? Come on, man. You've got, you've got to do it. My brother, Justin. What up, bro? <laughs> My brother, Justin. Uh, I'm at the barber shop. Getting ready to look younger. Why? Because I care. <laughs> I care. All right, y'all. That's all I needed. That's all I wanted. I just want y'all to know how important it is that you get this taken care of. Because, you know, I have relatives who I, uh, who I lost because they just didn't get the pre pre they didn't take care of that ounce of cure so they had to spend a pound to get it fixed instead of the ounce of prevention please i beg you brothers go get go get taken care of cuz when i was in that that medical clinic i saw old people who look like me who was probably my age or younger they looked so sick and I kept thinking they only up here because they feel it is almost too late <laughs> and I ever I, I, the next time I come it's because I'm just coming for a checkup not because there I think it's a problem it's because I want to make sure there is no problem so that's why I'm there I love y'all and I appreciate you. Share this with your lover, your loved ones, if they, if they are a man, especially a black man, please do it, all right? Now you know.